and welcome. We would like to show you the coping process of a quartz transmitter using our self-learning remote Q-tube. First, we need to know the original transmitter's frequency. To do that, we look at the back of the transmitter or use a frequency counter. Then, we will choose a Q-dupe which crystal quartz has the same frequency than the original transmitter. We will press the bottom part of the colored case where the buttons are during the coping process. As you can see, the red LED has come on and stays on. Since our original transmitter has two channels, we will first record channel 1 and then channel 2. We will press the button of the q dupe where we want to make a copy. The LED flashes twice and then it comes off. Then we will place the original transmitter next to the top left of the q dupe and press the channel of the original we want to copy. The LED of the q dupe will flash twice and then it stays on. We'll do the same process for channel 2. We'll press q dupe We'll then place the original transmitter next to it. And then it will make again two flashes and it stays on. This means the copy has been made correctly. Since we have chosen a Q-dupe which has a crystal quartz with the same frequency than the original, we do not need to make any adjustments. The transmitter is ready to use. If the crystal quartz has not the same frequency as the original, we can change it. To do that, we'll take the top off, we'll take out the printed board, and then we'll change the crystal quartz for one that has the frequency required. Then put the board back into its place again, make sure we adjust it properly, and with the help of a frequency counter, we might readjust the transmitter by rotating the trimmer.